The trees are coming into leaf like something almost being said. I love those Larkin words because this time of year always feels full of possibility. We're on the cusp of something brilliantly exciting happening and already below the earth, roots are moving and taking shape. In a few weeks, new life will bloom and those words, those worlds of possibility not yet fully formed will be made manifest. An era of new hope will dawn. This spring has been a long time coming. It's been a year that has challenged us all, a year that has felt like perpetual winter. But amidst the grief in our streets, the clamor for PPE, the neglect of so many, our nation has emerged from this crisis as stronger, more sure of herself and acutely aware of what values we hold dear to us, what values we will strive to protect. We've seen the best of our communities, from food share schemes and community outreach to the daily sacrifices of our brilliant frontline workers. And our nation too has emerged as more confident in her abilities. Awareness and appreciation of devolution has strengthened and Yes Cymru membership has rocketed. It's been a year, friends, that will leave its mark. But in what way? Well, that's for us to determine. And I don't say that glibly. What I mean is that the path we take out of this pandemic is there for us to shape if we choose to. It is within our grasp as Welsh citizens to ensure that the society that emerges from this crisis is one that is truly changed for the better. But we must not rest on our laurels. Because whenever a crisis faces our society, there is talk of renewal about things changing. After the financial crisis in 2008, article after article was written about how our society would have to be reformed. The banks stripped of their power and dominance. How injustices that had been writ large on every street and corner would be put right. But as we know, nothing of the sort happened. Things went back to just as they were before. That is why I say that yes, there is a feeling at the moment of potential change, possibility permeates everything. But there is also peril, a danger that we will all assume that that change will be inevitable and a potential future where it does not come to pass. Conference, we cannot let that be our future. Wales stands at a crossroads and a stark choice faces our nation to move forwards and progress as a proudly independent state or to stand still, cowering and shrinking in the shadow of our easterly neighbour. Because standing still would be an illusion. It's clear, both socially and politically, that if we do not move forward now and if Wales instead chooses the Labour status quo, we will actually be dragged backwards because the Labour Party has failed Wales after 20 years at the helm, the Labour Party has presided over poverty and neglect. A land where children go hungry when those in government have power in their gift to feed them. A nation rich in potential that is impoverished by mismanagement and decline. A land where our young people have faced uncertainty and needless anxiety over grading decisions, where PISA results are a national scandal and where even before the pandemic hit, waiting times stretched and essential services were cut to the bone. A land where our cultural institutions are shelved instead of bolstered, where our history is not taught in classrooms, where our language is not protected. Welsh place names painted over, people priced out of their hometowns and our coast becomes Cheshire on sea. Domestically, a poverty of ambition and serial neglect constrain us. But that is not the only threat to our future. Because to the east, Boris Johnson's calamitous cabinet has pushed through the Internal Market Act, bulldozing in its wake all respect for our Senate's powers. To him, devolution was a disaster and one he is more than willing to unmake. His 
is a government that has actively stripped our citizens of their rights and has forcibly limited our young people's horizons. Erasmus has been abandoned and an entire continent on our doorstep has been locked against us. There is no future for this beleaguered union, no hope of reform or renewal, none, save only impairment and ignominy. On Gynhadledd, mae yna lwybr arall. Os ydyn ni eisiau gweld newid yng Nghymru, mae angen i ni ymgorffori'r newid yna. Mae Plaid Cymru yn blaid nid yn unig ar gyfer ein pobl nawr, ni yw dyfodol ein cenedl. Dyfodol, a fyddai dan lywodraeth Plaid Cymru yn dileu i'r cysyniad o ddigar trefedd trwy rhoi hawl i ddinasyddion gael tu fforddiadwy, sicrhau bod tenantiaid yn teimlo'n ddiogel yn eu tenantiaethau, ac na fydd unrhyw un yn gaeth i fyw mewn adeiladau, lle nad ydyn nhw'n teimlo'n ddiogel. Dyfodol, lle mae ein gofalwyr yn derbyn mwy na chymrydwyaeth, ond tal sy'n deg, lle mae'r hen ar ifanc ar ganol y broses o wneud penderfyniadau, nid ar yr ymylon. Gyda Phlaid Cymru mewn llywodraeth, byddwn yn meithrin economi, sydd ddim yn rhoestro cenedlaethau'r dyfodol gyda dyledion y gorffennol, ond un sydd â lles wrth ei chanol. Economi sy'n gweithio er lles pobl ein gwlad, sydd ddim yn caniatau i dlodi parhau, ond sydd yn sicrhau y caiff ei ddileu. Byddwn yn meithrin am gylchedd, sydd ddim yn tagu plant ein plant o herwydd methiannau llywodraeth heddi i ddiffodd tan newid hinsawdd, ond am gylchedd sy'n ymgorffori deddf a'r glân, sy'n gwahardd plastigau un defnydd, ac sy'n carbon neutral erbyn 2035. A byddwn yn ymbweri ein dinasyddion, yn rhoi'r hawl i ddynt ddewis ei dyfodol nhw eu hunain trwy ddarparu refferendwm annibyniaeth. Oherwydd mae Cymru wedi bod mewn tymor o eiaf yn rhy hir, yn aros i'r gwanwyn ddod. Mae aros yng Nghymru yn deimlad sy'n rhy gyfarwydd o lawer, aros i'n arwyr ddychwelyd, aros am chwarae teg i'n cymunedau, am fydsoddiad yn ein hyconomi, yr yddewyr yn ddi baid, ond sydd byth yn dod i fydolaeth. Yng ngwlad y gydoddyn, nid godw rhyn ni'n aros i'w weld, ond gobaith, reswm i deimlo cyffro, teimlo cynnwrf, profi newid. I Gymru, mae'r aros yn rhan barhaus o'n bodolaeth, rhan nad yw byth yn fodlon ac nad yw byth yn dod o hyd yw bwrpas, profiad perdan, o weld gwastraff potensial, o aros i'n dyddiau tywyll dod i ben. Dywedodd R.S. Thomas mae yn yr aros y mae'r ystyr, ond yng Nghymru, gallai ein penyd hir fod drosodd cyn bod hir, gellir bodloni, gobeithion a disgwyliadau o'i soedd a gweld y gwanwyn yn dyfod o'r diwedd. I said at the start of these remarks that the trees are coming into leaf like something almost being said. That almost is a state that haunts us. We've been nearly there so many times before, so many near chances. Gwynfor's victory in 66, the referendum that wasn't in 79, the heart-rendingly near-miss by-election campaigns in Ron the West, Caffili and Merthyr. Colossal Labour majorities were shredded and we almost took the seats, but never quite. It's time we turned that almost into utmost friends. It's time we saw the valleys rise to be the centre of the new Wales, a crucial paving stone on our path towards independence. In Caffili, we have the chance of making history, a chance that could help forge our future, to stand proudly with the Rhonda, the gateway to the new Wales. With your help, we can do that, friends. Turn the almost into yesteryear, to the promise of today. If we want to get the most of our people, to deliver the most ambitious plans, and yes, to achieve that utmost goal of all, independence, it's May's election that will be of utmost importance, and it is almost within our grasp. Beneath our feet, friends, the tectonic plates are shifting, because once an idea like independence takes root, it does not go away, it will, like the dearest deep down things in Manly Hopkins' poem, flame out and gather to a greatness. 
And like those surging members of Yes Cymru, it will become a tide of hope. These buds will soon come to leaf. The hour is close at hand. Ringweld or beth a dee than dood. Mar Gwanwin an agosai.